I'd like to talk a little bit today about uh, uh, putting the wheels on the spindle as well as uh, the spindle operation. So uh, we'll start just by going over the spindle and its components. The actual spindle itself is just the stainless steel part here. So there's a bearing in here and in there and then a shaft that runs through it. And the shaft is connected to a dry shaft like this that hooks up to the motor. So it's a very simple straightforward setup. These uh, have uh, little plastic uh, spiders in it so they might squeak a little bit from time to time but that's totally normal. And of course uh, again nothing's really serviceable inside of there. It's very easy to use. And the motor is uh, it's a total wash down three phase motor that's run on single phase through this uh, controller or inverter. Uh, what we have is a series of washers. I'll take them off. This is to accommodate wheels of varying thicknesses. So you can have down to a saw blade in thickness and up to approximately an inch and a half wide. So this is the spindle itself. It's a one inch. So as long as all your wheels and so forth, your saw blades have a one inch. Most saw blades now are available with uh, uh, various size uh, arbor holes, so one inch is pretty common. I would like to run it with just one washer on if that's how the arrangement works, but generally you want to have one washer on first. The shoulder is pretty slim there, so it's best to have a washer there. For this setup, I'm just going to use a uh, spherical miracle from his glassworks. So this setup I'll just put two and then the wheel. There's a little see we don't want to get any more hanging off than that so you wouldn't want to have it any more off and then the little uh, uh, end washer goes on and then the cap screw. Okay, at this point, we have our wrench. We have a little slot for the wrench so you can hold it. And it doesn't have to be overly tight, just snugged up. And you're ready to go.